Hey everybody, it's your pal Wes from Perfect Circuit, and today we're going to take a look at connecting the dots, bridging the gaps, converting our data to dang old voltage. That's right, MIDI to CV. How can we do it? What do we need? What are the benefits? What are the disadvantages? Let's take a look at it all real quick. Almost since the dawn of synthesizers, folks have been converting control voltage or CV messages into data, MIDI, and back again. In fact, CV was the first and primary language that synthesizers used to talk to each other. MIDI, being invented in the 80s, was just extensively more in-depth when it came to the amount of messages you could send and the type of data that you could send along with those messages. So it became very popular and took over as microprocessors and digital control became the, you know, primary way that a lot of our instruments worked. But now it's 2022 and the music gear landscape is a mixing pot of analog modular synthesizers, digital signal processing, hybrid combinations of the two, and it can be a lot to wrap your head around when you're trying to get all of these instruments, devices, computers, everything to just talk to each other. So let's break down the three most popular ways that folks convert MIDI messages to control voltage. Their benefits, their cons, and some fun facts about this stuff. All right, let's take a look at method number one, which I'm gonna call using a controller. Some of the most basic controllers on the market for achieving this task are gonna be your key steps, your beat steps, and a couple of newcomers to the market, the Akai MPK Pro, and of course, Keith McMillan's keyboard and the Q-Neo. All of these are gonna be familiar keyboard controllers that feature wonderful CV outputs. Now, in addition to the CV outputs, a lot of these devices are also gonna feature five pin MIDI or USB connectivity, meaning you can plug this into your computer and get Ableton to control how this is sending out CV, which is pretty dang nifty. There are some other more specific types of devices like the Oxy Instruments One, which features a full sequencer and a ton of extra features built in there with all of the CV ins and outs that you could ever dream of. Control voltage has made its way onto a bunch of the MPC lines as well with a ton of connectivity right up there. This is on most of the MPC lines and I believe it's on the Akai Force as well. So these offer you an even more in-depth way to send CV and MIDI to all your gear. Record it and they are a one-stop shop for production. So incredibly powerful. Controllers with CV functionality are incredibly versatile. They're really accessible and approachable. They're very familiar, just featuring, you know, keyboards, pads. Most of them have some sort of sequencer or arpeggiator. These are your great first pick for, you know, getting cracking and making your gear talk to each other. I use the Keystep 37 all the time at my home studio, and we use one almost every day here at Perfect Circle. The only drawbacks of using a controller to do your MIDI to CV conversion is that sometimes you can want a little bit more, sometimes they're not as flexible for, you know, more esoteric use cases or experimenting with, you know, sort of out there electronics. The second method we predominantly see used for MIDI to CV conversion is a dedicated device, like the Kenton Pro Solo Mark III, the classic. This product has been on the market for ages. It's on Mark III, and it is solid as ever. It features a ton of CVIO, MIDI in and out, and it is just rock solid. It also features a ton of options for scaling. You can change it to hertz to volt, and it talks just dang near perfectly with all of the instruments that I've tried to use. Kenton makes a couple other boxes just like this that do a bunch of different things from converting DCB to MIDI, CV back to MIDI, and everything in between. So if you're looking for some voltage or data message shenanigans, Kenton should be one of your go-to brands to check out. 
Kenton's not the only game on the block though. There are a couple boxes from Dope Fur that span a bunch of different functions and are just as rock solid and flexible as the Kenton boxes are. Additionally, a bonus device that you might already own is an audio interface with DC coupled outputs. Now, if you've got a DC coupled output on your audio interface and you get yourself a floating ring cable, then you can send control voltage straight out of your audio interface and into your modular synthesizers. I know that was kind of word soup, so let's go over it again. If you've got a DC coupled interface, you can use a floating ring cable to send voltage to your synthesizers. The third and final most popular method for converting your MIDI messages to CV ones is to use a dang old Eurorack module. Now the beauty of Eurorack is, is that there are probably a hundred different modules that will all achieve this. Modules that take just USB in, modules that take just five pin MIDI, some that do cool stuff, some that just straight up convert that, that data into voltage. So I want to talk about a few of my favorites today. In my opinion, one of the top dogs of MIDI modules is the Bastel 1983. Now this module has a ton of bells and whistles. It can be used for polyphonic playing as well as it's got a very interesting feature where it will listen to your oscillators and auto tune them, which if you've ever tried to get a polyphonic patch in your rack going, you know that that is just absolutely crazy nifty. So take a look at the Bastel 1983 because it's got a ton of functionality that is just aimed at like quality of life, enjoyment when using MIDI messages in CV. So right there, big recommend from Wes. Bafaco is another company that's got a ton of really interesting MIDI to CV utilities. You can take a look at their Lich or the CV thing, which can turn CV into MIDI messages. Absolute fun on a bun. It's madness. And this is where the platform of Eurorack really excels at taking kind of kooky ideas and just absolutely expanding them to their farthest out, wackiest ideas and Bofaco is most certainly doing that with MIDI to CV conversions. All right, everybody, you're gonna wanna go down to the description, check out some of these links because we've got more in-depth articles on our blog about MIDI to CV, CV to MIDI, all sorts of spooky kooky stuff relating to modular synthesizers, music production, pedals, guitars, everything sound related. You'll have fun, you should go check it out. I've been Wes, this has been Perfect Circuit. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you later.